Today we're taking a look back at the Google Pixel 4 a 5G from 2020. How good is it in 2023? Let's find out. Let's start with the build of this phone. It definitely feels a bit worse compared to the Pixel 5 and the plastic feels a little bit on the cheap side. But it luckily does have plastic which means if you drop it it won't shatter or break like glass would. And most people put a phone on their case anyways so it doesn't really matter. And while it might not feel like the highest quality plastic it still feels good enough in my opinion. Here on the bottom you have the USB-C port and luckily it does have a headphone jack which is something that I really appreciate if I quickly want to plug in headphones or if I want to use a dedicated microphone, I am able to plug it in through the headphone jack and it works great. It feels amazing having a headphone jack and it is disappointing that the newer A series doesn't have this, but luckily this one does have it. And for battery life, I noticed it is about the same from the Pixel 5 to this one. Um, the Pixel 5 does have a 90Hz screen and this one is 60, but the battery life is about the same. So that means you can get through a day, uh, maybe one and a half days if you don't use it a lot. But it isn't a two day phone. The screen is pretty good, but it isn't amazing. However, I think for the price it's good. Sadly, it's only a 60 hertz panel and there is a bit of a chin on the bottom, which makes it feel like almost every other budget Android phone. But that doesn't mean that it's a bad screen. The colors look good and it looks nice. But even though the processor is the same, it feels a little bit slower than the Pixel 5 because of the 60 hertz screen instead of the 90 hertz. And luckily the bezels aren't as thick as the previous generation pixels. For example, the 3 or the 2, they had a lot bigger bezels compared to this one. And the brightness of the screen is bright enough for outdoors in my opinion. Speakers are decent but not amazing. It has a front firing speaker here on the front and one on the bottom. And the stereo effect sounds pretty good and they are better than the Pixel 5 in my opinion. The fingerprint sensor here on the back is really fast and amazing. It just quickly unlocks the phone and you can also do the swipe down for notification. The camera is the same as the Pixel 5. What this means is that the camera is really good. It can capture some really nice images. It also has a good low light performance. Sadly no manual mode, but of course there are third party apps for it if you want to. It also has a lot of dynamic range, good colors. And this is one of the last phones with the unlimited Google photo storage option. And while it doesn't have a lot of features, it, the features that it does have are really good. And I shot some really nice time lapses with this phone. And the results are really good for a phone. This is one of the best camera phones you can get at this price point, in my opinion. And you can also see the videos look really nice with really good stabilization. And just like the Pixel 5, it also has the stabilization options. For the software, the stability is great. It feels really fast. I really like how it looks, the Pixel experience. Well, it isn't the fastest for gaming, it's still decent. The stability is also great. I haven't had any issues with crashing. And the update support is great. It is right now on Android 13 and it will go to Android 14. But after that, sadly, the updates will stop. But I still think that the amount of updates that you get is good enough for a phone. For the specs, it has a Snapdragon 765G, 6GB of RAM and 128GB of storage. And at first I thought that isn't a ton. However, it does have the unlimited storage backup to Google Photos. So 128 is more than enough for most people. It's just a bit disappointing that this phone isn't waterproof or has the 90 hertz screen, but if you want those features, then you can always pick up a Google Pixel 5. Let me know what you think of this phone. Do you still have one or are you planning to buy one? Let me know in the comments down below and thank you so much for watching.